the app applications came in to our nation's capital from around the world. High school seniors vying to become the next science scholar. And of them, 40 students made the cut from public and private schools on Long Island. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan introduces us to some of these budding geniuses. Emotional hugs and tears from mom and dad for Viom Shah. I couldn't have imagined this happening in a million years. Viom among four from Jericho High, selected from thousands across the country and named prestigious Regeneron Science Scholars. Viom conducted experiments on red meat fatty acids. I and mean, how those can impact the stem cells within your intestinal epithelium and increase the likelihood for cancer. The impetus for Viom's research, his mother Mittal's scare with breast cancer. I'm very proud. I'm thinking that he will save a lot of people. An unprecedented challenge for applicants. Labs are closed during the pandemic. Their experiments remote. Previously, you know, everything was on the wet bench. And we've learned in the last 10 months to now explore all of the science that was kind of left untapped. The students were chosen based on research skills, academics, innovative thinking, and promise as future scientists. At JF Kennedy High in Belmore, five students were named all female. Glaucoma is like the second leading cause of irreversible blindness. I studied the socioeconomic factors on COVID-19. Systemic racism in um, high schools and how it's institutionalized. Jordan Krinsky and Julia Levine each studied specific strains of fruit flies. A fruit fly is such a common model organism. They're so small and they reproduce so fast. It's effects on diseases of Parkinson's and celiac. I did my research in my homemade lab in my sunroom. I created my lab in my dining room. Later this month, 40 of the 300 national nominees will be named finalists. These seniors ended up making a buddy system to help out the younger students. They hope to leave behind a legacy of research and cures. On Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. Smart, resourceful, and nice. The finalists will compete for nearly $2 million in scholarship money and academic awards.